as you mentioned, we, Paul George, we're going to talk about him a little bit. He did leave Indiana and landed in OKC. And Mike, with the move, do you think that OKC is better positioned to take over the West? And do you think um, with Paul George leaving and the Lakers not getting him this year, do you think that the, the Lakers missed out on having Paul George? Uh, with Paul George first, I think absolutely this puts the Oklahoma City Thunder into the conversation. Now, I don't know if they're necessarily going to be able to compete with the Golden State Warriors when it comes down to the playoffs, but they're certainly going to be a team that people are going to be talking about as we get ready for the season to start up. No question about that. And, you know, George said today, actually, in an, in an article with, in Sports Illustrated, that the person who really kind of supplied some motivation for him to come to Oklahoma City was Kevin Durant, who said, you're going to love it there. This is going to be a good franchise. So, George has kind of not necessarily closed the door on whether or not he's going to wind up looking after going to another franchise when this season is, is going to be finished. But he says, look, if we're winning here at Oklahoma City, you know, I'm more than willing to kind of stick around for a little bit. As far as the Lakers are concerned, you know, I thought that they made the right decision here. I think that why you, you have a surplus of young talent, why sort of give that up? Now, I know that Paul George has issued this statement where he said in the past that he's very, you know, open to the possibility of coming home to play for the Lakers. But from my standpoint, I think the Lakers made the right decision. We know that George could wind up being a free agent at the end of next season. And you know what? If they don't wind up getting George, well, then there's other still players that could still wind up being out there. Maybe it could be Russell Westbrook. Could it possibly be LeBron James? So I think the Lakers, for the most part, I think they made the right move. I, I agree with Paul George coming to the OKC Thunder and making them better contenders in the West. I, they won't take over. I think they're probably another superstar or a 1A type player away from, you know, really closing that gap. But, uh, you know, we talked about winners just re uh, recently in the in free agency, Russell Westbrook must be breathing a sigh of relief to have another scorer on the team to take off some of the pressure from him. And OKC, um, they re they re-signed Andre Roberson and they signed Patrick Patterson. Some really nice complimentary pieces. So I think that, you know, they'll have a better showing in the West. And as far as the Lakers, you know, you really hit the, the nail on the head. They took a calculated risk in not trading for Paul George. They like they have a lot of confidence in what they're building. And with Paul George still being under contract, they would have to trade for him. So, you know, you still want to to uh keep your team intact and not further push back the rebuild because they would have to unload a lot of assets. So, you know, I think for them they're just praying that there's something that goes amiss in OKC, that maybe the run, the playoff run won't be as great as maybe, you know, you and I think, and that that would make LA a more attractive offer. And they and they also got rid of the Mozgov contract, so that clears some cap space. So I think they're, the Lakers are trying to set the stage for him and make an attractive package for Paul George or someone of that caliber to come to their team.